Hi, I am Keith Norris and welcome to this video to explain your KPI Fire account. This is meant to go along with your very first login to KPI Fire. So we're going to pick this video up right at the point where somebody else inside your company has probably created a user account for you. So they did that by going into the settings area, into users, invite users, and then they're going to create a user account for you. They're going to associate you with one of the departments inside of the organization and they're going to assign a certain license type to you. So for the example here, we're going to use a project license. So, so that person invites you and you should receive an email in your inbox. So in your inbox, you'll receive an email that looks something like this. It is going to have a link that you will click on. And please keep in mind, you're only going to click on this link one time. Any other time that you want to log in, you're going to go to the website, or you're going to click directly on the app login. This link is um, is is just for the initial login so it's going to show you the terms of service you check the little box here and then it's going to take you to your account and you are going to create your own password so create create whatever password you like and then it will take you into your account and what we're going to do is we're going to just show you a couple of things that you should set up the very first time you come into kpi fire so number one is I'm going to take you to the personal profile area. So up here in the top right corner, this is a little silhouette that is going to have a couple of links here. One of them is your personal profile. The first thing I'd like to ask you to do is upload an image. This is an image that you can grab. Hopefully you have one on your computer, maybe on your LinkedIn profile. And you'll select an image. This will show up connected to projects and tasks that are assigned to you. If there's any information that's incomplete in your profile, please go ahead and complete that now. For example, you can put your phone number in, and you also have a language profile uh, choice if you want to choose between Spanish and English. We may have some other options in there in the future, and then a title would be great as well. If you want to change your password in the future, this is where you can do that also. Okay, so now you've got your picture associated with the app. I want to show you a couple other areas of the app that you want to get familiar with. First, I'm going to take you to the daily update page. The daily update page, the first time you log in, it will probably be blank, might not be much in here, but this is a page that is going to summarize any of the activities that you need to do uh, and put that together in a single place inside the application. And there is a notification feature that you will receive on a periodic basis. So the, the application has the ability to send you your daily updates and this little notification icon right here with this link for notification settings you're going to want to click in here and just review your notification settings the default setting is for a weekly notification so if you're only managing one project and you really only want to look at it about once a week that's probably perfect if for some reason you decide you want to turn off your notifications, you can do that. If you want to receive them more frequently, maybe daily, you can set it to daily. And if you want it to come at a certain time of day, you can set your time and your time zone here. You're also going to receive some additional notifications based on your preferences selected here. These are my default selections here. So when a task needs my approval, when a task is approved or denied, or if I'm at mentioned in a comment. Uh, you can also receive notifications based on ideas that are submitted into the departments. If you want to configure the departments for which you receive notifications, you can do that as well. If you only want to receive notifications for your department, for example, you can just select those departments. And scroll down and click the Save button. And once you're done with that, you can click off of the page. Most of the things inside KPI Fire are going to auto-save. In a few places you will see a save button. Certainly encourage you to use the save button when you see it on the page. Okay, next what I'm going to ask you to do is just create your first idea. KPI Fire is continuous improvement software, so a big part of what you're going to use the software for is capturing ideas. Right here on the top, the main menu, we'll refer to this as the main menu, this bar up here at the top. We're going to click new idea and we're going to let's say we have a new idea to improve a process so I can capture an idea it defaults to my current department and then I can associate the effort versus impact with that idea as it comes in and then to submit that idea 
I click the button right here and that will create my first idea after I submit the idea it shows up in the idea funnel here in KPI fire the general workflow from idea to project you create the idea they show up in the idea funnel uh, you will have the ability to filter based on the ideas that you have access to so you may or may not have access to everything that's something that your administrator will determine if you do have access to more data you can filter and see additional information so another important feature is the filters up here I want to get you familiar with the filters so if you have multiple departments that you have access to you may be able to filter on those so you will be able to tell if a filter is active it'll have a little blue color on it here so if I want to just filter by North American operations I can click those the check boxes means that they are selected and then you'll click apply and I can filter and see ideas the same filters will apply for projects in other areas and you can filter based on the data there as well so a couple of little notes about the filters if I click the little X on the filter that will set it to its default value so in my case because I'm a user in the North American operations department if I click that little X it resets to North American operations if I double click on a department in the filter it selects that department and everything below and then you'll notice that it has a little plus icon next to my department name uh, I can also select departments across the hierarchy and when I do that you'll see that the filter says multiple departments so those are three different states of your filters one thing to know about KPFR if you ever feel like you're not seeing a record that you feel like you should be able to see this the uh, the first thing to try would be to click clear filters that would open up your filters that would show you any of the data that you have access to in the idea funnel area here these are also uh, serve as filters so if I wanted to fill click on this number three that will show me those three ideas that correspond with that effort versus impact box and I can click on that button again to show me everything all right the general workflow inside KPI fire the way things ideally work is you open up an idea you add a workflow or you select a workflow to your idea and then an idea will become a project at some point so at some point you would move from active or from an idea into an active project now key thing about KPI fire is the separation of ideas which are not active projects and your projects list which are your active projects this is really just meant to be an overview video there's a separate video on how to manage your projects in KPI fire so I'll just show you a couple of other little things about navigating you're gonna have the project list view which will show you a list of all projects you can filter here by the global filters and then you can also filter by any of these column headers by selecting the column header and making a choice here you'll notice that when you select a filter there you'll have a little icon if you want to clear the filters on the tables you can clear the filters there you can also adjust the column headers that are displayed if you want to change which columns show up and then one last thing to show you is the search area so if you want to find something you can find something by using the search area over here as well so that's that is really just meant to be a quick orientation to give you your initial introduction to KPI fire I encourage you to watch some of the other videos videos specifically the project video so that you can get a little understanding of how to use the project management feature inside KPI fire welcome to your KPI fire account 